Many of you have visited the New Jersey High Railers and have seen the two layouts that were used in the filming of the hit TV show, The Sopranos. The folks at New Jersey High Railers have carefully preserved these two historic layouts. If you look closely, you can still see the theatrical blood that was used during the filming. What you may not know is this actual scene was filmed in a real train store. Trainland in Long Island, New York was used in the filming of this segment. Trainland is one of the largest train stores in the world. We recently had an opportunity to talk to an owner of this massive store, Kenny Bianco, and he was kind enough to share some of his thoughts. Uh, since the 70s. It's been a family business. My father, Peter Bianco, started it, and uh, my two brothers, Anthony and Paul, my sisters, Eileen and Diane, and my brother-in-law, Frank, we've just been, uh, we're lifers. We're in it for the long haul. It, it keeps changing. Every uh, 10 years, there's a big change in the industry. Um, and you got to change with the times and right now it's going towards online shopping uh, the internet presence it's basically um, considered a free advertising and you can reach a lot more people that you can never reach so we're gaining a lot of new customers that um, we thought we we thought everybody knew about us uh, by the magazines and doing the newspapers but the internet opened up a whole new world of people that never knew we existed and everyday new customers This is uh, where um, Bobby Bacala got whacked. You know, he was buying a, uh, a Blue Comet tin plate set, and, uh, and in the series, a couple of guys came in and just uh, shot him dead right here. It was an awesome experience. It, uh, it took two days to set the store, two days of filming, and two days to put it all back together. And there was an ice storm the day they were filming Valentine's Day. Uh, and you can't even tell. You, can't even, you shoot outside, doesn't even look like it was that bad. But it was about 150 people standing around while that was being filmed. And uh, it's just like quiet on the set. And every work, everybody, the, all the unions that were here, worked as such a good team. It was so professional the way it was done. It was real Hollywood, real Hollywood. Uh, no, that was the first time they were here. Just that one time, they were they were looking for a place they can actually f film what they wanted to do. They could have, to me, they could have recreated this in a back lot, but the uh, director of it, he was into scale model railroad trains in HO, and so he wanted the real thing. He wanted to be in a train store. He wanted to get the feel of uh, what, wanted the public to feel what it's like to be in one of these stores. That a lot of there ain't too many in the country, but we're a niche and we're unique. And it's a, it's a great place for people that haven't seen it, seen it, an actual train store to go into. A special thanks to Kenny for taking time out of his busy schedule to talk to us and the New Jersey High Railers.